you know, I'll always be indebted to him as well because uh, I remember the draft board came knocking, and um, and as a young Christian, uh, you know, I just um, I just felt like for the the best sense I could make of the situation was I, I can't go to Vietnam and and shoot at people. I just don't, you know. I mean, life and death belong in God's hands, and I don't. I don't think I'm supposed to do that, you know. And um, I think I, uh, and I, I think I would actually. I remember standing before the the draft board, the four man, you know, uh, four man group there, and and coming with my first little record that I had, you know, done with Larry called Born Twice, and I kind of put it on the table and I said, you know, I, I believe in Jesus now, and and. Um, uh, and so, I, and I think I would actually do something more constructive by being at home and talking to my peers about, you know, love and hope and, you know, inner peace than putting on a uniform and going to Vietnam. Um, well, like I said, um, I just, I remember being at Salt Company and um, and having Larry invite me up on stage, and like I said, I was I was moved by the spirit of what was going on, even though I didn't understand it. And I remember sitting back in the little green room, and and because I wanted to make a, a, a contribution, a meaningful contribution, and and I, I took the um, I took the words I took that the song that the birds had uh, recorded, he, is, he was a friend of mine, about President Kennedy, and I, and I, um, I, uh, I just sort of tweaked him a little bit and, and went, you know. He is a friend of mine, you know. His killing had great purpose, the saving of mankind. And I really didn't know exactly what I was singing about. Maybe it was just, it was kind of wishful thinking. Uh, but I remember, you know, Larry watching and with a smile on his face and, and, uh, and then jumping in with me and we, I think we did uh, a couple of Beatles songs and, and, uh, and that was that. Just barely. I certainly remember the event. I got stoned in Norman's kitchen. We was talking about the facts of life. He asked me, was I happy as I reached for the butter knife? It wasn't a hostile movement, I was just, I said no. And I made a sandwich. I poured myself a cup of tea. When that cat started praying, the spirit fell on me. I can see I am free, and I'm who I want to be. Mercy me, mercy me, mercy me. bathroom I said excuse me please but I couldn't help from laughing and I was shaky in the knees as I leaned against the mirror my heart let out a sigh like something heavy left me and I opened up my eyes. I can see I am free, and I'm who I want to be. Mercy me, mercy me, mercy me, mercy me. Bob 
about enough of that. I wrote I love you, um, no before that, I wrote I love you um, in 1970 uh, because it came out on Born Twice in February of 71. Uh, I, wrote, I wrote I love you, um, I think careening down the Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood freeway and I say careening as if uh, my driving skills were a little iffy. So I was careening down the Hollywood freeway on my way to uh, one of my first sessions for Born Twice. And, uh, and just like I said, just thinking about this, you know, this wonderful God who actually remembered my name and showed up in my life. And, and um, so I'm driving my, my first car that I bought at Last Stop Auto Wreckers for 115 bucks, this 59 Plymouth. I'm driving down the freeway going, we can be together for now and forever. I love you, I love you. I thought, wait, Bre brother and sister, Mrs. and Mr., I love you, I love you. And um, so I, I, uh, I, yeah, I thought, you know, I might, I might be onto something here. And I kept on singing it, making it up as I went, got to the studio um, uh, and, and, you know, walked into the building and, uh, and Larry was assembling the, the band for the evening. And, um, and I said, hey, Larry, um, I started making up this, this song, uh, you know, coming down the freeway. It goes like this. Well, not quite like this, but. Anyway, it, I said, I said, so I started making up this song coming down the freeway, and um, it, it goes like this. What do you think? We can be together for now and forever. I love you. I love you. And his eyes sort of got wide, and he said. Are, are you, you're making that up right now? I said, yeah. He said, okay, keep doing that. I'm gonna get the band ready. We're just gonna roll tape on this right now. And, um, and so we recorded it that, that night. We can be together for now and forever. I love you, I love you. And when I'm praying, I hear him saying, I love you, I love you. People are, hey, uh, people all over the world. This is my song, I can do what I want. People all over the world, they're opening up, they're coming around. They're saying, I love you, 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 I love you. I love you. I can't conceal it, I love you, I love you. Jesus came into the world to show us the way to set us all free. And when he died, well, he was saying, I love you, 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 I love you. I love you. Let's <laughs> 